The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has made a strange discovery that defies easy categorization. The name references the platypus, one of nature's oddball animals, a mammal that lays eggs and has a duckbill and venomous spurs. These astronomy's platypuses objects are nine newly discovered galaxies with equally unusual and hard to categorize properties. The findings were recently presented at the 247th meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Phoenix. The discovery was a highlight at the 247th meeting of the American Astronomical Society, where lead author Hao Jing Yan shared the fascinating findings. The research, titled A New Population of Point-Like Narrow-Line Objects Revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope, is available on the rx 5 v preprint server. These objects are so odd that scientists are struggling to categorize them. They seem to defy the current understanding of celestial objects. The galaxies are characterized by their point-like shape and narrow permitted emission lines, a combination that doesn't fit known celestial categories. Jan noted that they are extremely tiny and compact, like a point source, yet lack the characteristics of a quasar, which is typical for distant point sources. The research team began their investigation by sifting through a large sample of candidates to narrow down their focus. The team initially analyzed about 2,000 point sources from three different JWST surveys, CEERS, UDS, and COSMOS. Out of that large sample, they successfully identified nine unique point sources dating back 12 to 12.6 billion years ago in the early universe. These nine objects are odd because their characteristics simply don't align with what astronomers expect from objects in that distant part of the universe. They are too distant to be individual stars and are much too dim to be quasars, which are the most luminous objects in the universe. They share some similarities with the quote, quote, green peas galaxies, which were discovered by citizen scientists but these new objects are even more compact. Lead author Hao Jing Yan emphasized that the unexpected combination of features is just like looking at a platypus, an animal that shouldn't exist based on its characteristics, yet it does. The unexpected combination of features in these nine galaxies is a surprise, presenting a new puzzle for astronomers to solve. Yan compares the JWST's spectra data to the platypus's detailed genetic code, revealing just how unusual and complex these objects truly are. Jan was emphatic in his conclusion. The bottom line here, our objects are not quasars, despite the objects being tiny and distant point sources. While unlikely to be typical active galactic nuclei, Jan suggests that if they belong to the AGN family, they must represent an entirely new kind due to their unique properties, 